so the reason we came to scaling now is because obviously we have some pretty major scaling issues and it would be great if we could address them in a short time period. So um, it was a really awesome opportunity to come and talk to some of the people, uh, most of the people who are, are really at the forefront of uh, Ethereum scaling in particular, but blockchain scaling in general uh, in the world right now. So it was a really awesome opportunity. One of the things we learned most about was, uh, that I learned most about was Plasma. So, uh, you know, I try and keep up with various scaling options and certainly we knew about state channels and side chains. Uh, but Plasma is relatively new and I, I didn't have a really good feel for it. So coming to scaling now and listening to the other people talk about Plasma uh, actually got me really excited about what it could do for uh, an app like CryptoKitties. I think in truth that CryptoKitties itself will probably just count on whatever scaling solution the Ethereum Foundation is able to build transparently into the chain. So uh, it's an app that's out there, people are using it, they have certain expectations of how it works, and we really don't want to change those expectations on our users. Um, on the other hand, uh, the, the team really doesn't want to stop with CryptoKitties. We, we have lots of other ideas for interesting dApps that have a collection mechanic, um, and we definitely would like to see some of those scale at a higher level. I think if we were to uh, release something in the next six to eight months, uh, we'd almost certainly build a, some sort of custom plasma-like solution. Uh, and I think uh, looking farther out, I think uh, we'd expect the, the, the core chains uh, to have uh, some sort of tools that, that are transparent to us, where we can just write our smart contract in the most straightforward way, and maybe it's a transparent sharding solution, maybe it's some sort of transparent plasma solution even. Um, but I, I think when, when we're starting to look at a year or two out, I, I'd expect the community to come up with something that doesn't require the DAP developers uh, to uh, think through all the scaling issues themselves. It was a really unique event. Uh, it was very lightly structured, and it was uh, intended that the attendees themselves would you know, find and talk to the people that they uh, uh, were most interested in talking to. And so it was unlike any sort of event or conference that I've been to, and it, you can't really call it a conference, right? It was a, it was a meetup, but on a global scale, which is was really unique. So I love the fact that the team uh, had the confidence in the attendees to pr put so little structure on it. Um, and I think it ended up being a really good call. Uh, I think a bunch of dry talks uh, that had been prepared in advance uh, would have been way less valuable for DAP developers like uh, ourselves uh, who want to get in there and, and chat with the people who are really thinking about this stuff.